Today, on Guess What I Found Out, we are going to discover some facts about whales. As in, we might be texting the ocean now. Scientists used advanced AI, built an underwater recording studio, and held what looked suspiciously like a real back and forth with a whale. 20 minutes of rapid clicks, pauses, and you up? Energy from a brain six times our own. If we just unlocked whale DMs, humanity's group chat is about to get awkward. If you want more science that makes your high school biology teacher whisper finely, hit like, or I'll send you a whale voice note at 3 a.m. For centuries, the ocean kept its secrets. Sailors heard ghostly songs we shrugged and then we melted whales for lamp fuel. A plus choices, team. In the 1970s, recordings of humpback songs went mainstream and people realized, wait, this isn't noise, it's music with structure. Fast forward bioacoustics grows up and a cross-disciplinary squad decides to go from eavesdropping to actual dialogue. Enter the lab coat Avengers marine biologists, NLP nerds, linguists, roboticists, basically everyone who ever corrected your grammar and your code. So here's the plan. We're going to cover a deep water zone with hydrophone arrays. Those are underwater microphones, by the way. Tag whales with non-invasive sensors and then, well, stream millions of their vocalizations into AI models. Think of it as Spotify wrapped, but, you know, for cetaceans. The system actually maps each click sequence, these are called coders, to who said it, who was nearby, and what they were up to at the time. It's not just sound, it's all about context, hunting, spending time with family, or quite frankly, delivering that one passive-aggressive click we all know a bit too well. And honestly, if your last group chat needed machine learning to decode, 